Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today we're talking about how, when, where, and why to reseed your flat top grill. Let's get started. So you might be asking the question, why is it important to re-season your flat top grill? It's simple. Because during the cooking process, you're losing layers of seasoning. So it's important to build those layers back up. Seasoning is a process of your oils or fats being baked on your flat top surface. Okay, that's how you create your non-stick water repellent surface. When should I re-season? That's very important, okay? We're talking about acidic foods, extremely sugary foods, or when you notice that your flat top grill isn't as non-stick as you would like it, okay? Let's start with the first one, acidic foods. We're talking about those Bria tacos that you guys know I made on the flat top grill. You dip it in enchilada sauce. What is enchilada sauce made out of? Tomatoes. Tomatoes have a lot of acidity in there. When you're doing a lot of them, that's gonna help break down your flat top surface. That's one. Sugary foods. You guys know that we did the chicken teriyaki. That's another one. There's a lot of sugars on there. The sugars can caramelize very, very, very deep, and it's a lot harder to clean. So the more you're messing with your flat top and the deeper you have to clean it, the more layers of seasoning you're losing. The third one, let's say you just use it all the time. You're easy come, easy go, but you notice your eggs just aren't sliding the way that they should. That's another telltale sign, sign of your flat top needing some, some maintenance. Another telltale sign that your flat top needs to be re-seasoned is visual, okay? Your flat top is gonna ebb and flow with colors from browning, um, bronze colors. I don't know if we could pick this up on video, but I've got some bronzing there. Here's some bronzing. You know, the sides are gonna turn colors, but overall my flat top typically stays pretty dark. And the point is because over the period of time that we've had our flat top and the amount of cooks that we do on it, I've learned that re-seasoning is literally the most important part. So let's get back to the visual. There is never a need to panic and to strip down your seasoning completely just to re-season. That's what I'm trying to avoid. That's what I'm hoping this whole video is about. It's about re-seasoning your flat top before or after a cook. So now we're looking at the visual. The visual is bronzing. Don't panic. As long as your flat top is coming up to the temperature uh, evenly and you're allowed the smoke to roll, which is the the process we're talking about, then your flat top is naturally going to become black again. It's just, that's just how it's going to happen. So what, what's going to happen is the light colors are going to get darker and your dark colors are just going to build and build and build. And eventually your flat top is going to even out, but that's what happens over time. So don't panic. If you see your flat top changing color, just know that's a telltale sign that we need to reseason. Now we're talking about what oil should I use? We're not going to list the, the random 850,000 different types of oils. I'm only going to talk about avocado oil and why. Let's list all the benefits, okay? It's neutral in flavor. It has a high smoke point. It's very versatile. It's pretty cost effective. And when I started going on my health kick, I wanted to be able to not only season, but eat with the same oil. All right, guys, so we're talking about how to season, okay? Now we're getting to the nuts and bolts. Okay, so step one is make sure that you're starting off with a clean flat top grill, okay? No matter if you did the deep clean with water or you just threw a grilled cheese down and you scraped it clean uh, with, a, with a scraper, okay? Start with a clean slate. Oil it lightly, okay? I've always got my avocado oil in a little squirt bottle. A little dab will do. You don't have to go a long ways, okay? Remember, when you're building layers, the thinner the layer, the better, okay? You want to make sure that you wipe all the way around your flat top grill, all the way around your edges, and especially your grease trough. This is probably my number one rust area. You know that you'll add a thin layer of oil. Well, as long as it's warm, you guys will wipe the oil off and just leave it. The problem with that is... Unless you bring your flat top grill back up to a smoke point, you're never going to create that patina. It's like a cast iron skillet. Can... All right, guys, so this is what I'm talking about. You notice how the smoke is? 
this is what needs to happen more often on flat top grills that I see on YouTube and stuff like that. I think it's, I think at this point is missed so often because people worry about cleaning the flat top grill. And I'm telling you, I think it's way more important on the meter to how you re-season your flat top grill and keep it like that all the time, okay? We use avocado oil. Our smoke point is supposed to be 500. We're shooting around 480, 475, 468, 487, okay? So it just gives you an idea. But what happens is when it's smoking, that means it's burning the fat. The fat is producing a layer. You don't want too much on there. You don't want it pulling and stuff like that. That's why I'm wiping it off. Okay. But you want to make sure you get it all around the edges. All in your grease trap and just a little bit on the outside. Okay. And let that fat burn off. I'm going to talk about maybe turn it back down. I just had it up a little bit past L. I just turned it down on low. This will build and build and build. Okay. You don't have to worry about the smoke completely coming off of it. I'm going to give it just a couple minutes, maybe two, three minutes until I'm done talking. Then I'm just going to turn it off completely. There's enough residual heat to burn that fat. And that's how you build the layers. Remember when you're cooking, you're going through layers. And so you should also build layers and it helps protect your flat top grill. When you're talking about re-seasoning your flat top grill, it's important to know that there's two ways to do it. You can do it before a cook or after a cook. Let's start with option one, before the cook. When you guys are thinking about doing uh, like a good juicy ribeye steak, you can do country fried steak. Uh, let's think of some of the things that I've cooked. Uh, juicy chicken. Um, we just did the chicken wings. Anything like that. Once you've cleaned your flat top grill and you've uh, applied your thin layer of oil, a lot of times you guys just put the lid on it, cover it, come back the next day, which is fine. When you preheat your flat top grill, even on low, you can reach these temperatures because the flame is always on, okay? So don't be surprised by it. Once you put your thin layer of oil on, preheat it, and once it becomes to a smoke point, you're gonna notice your smoke rolling, okay? You are literally in the process of re-seasoning and you might not even know it, but that's what happens. That's the actual polymerization of the oils. That's your oils burning and creating that thin surface on your flat top grill. Now, the reason why we say before, because like I said, some of the meats or vegetables that you cook will have a higher temperature, okay? So you can allow your flat top to preheat to a higher temperature before you add something, okay? So you've got your thin layer oil, you preheat your flat top, You've already pre, you've already re-seasoned your flat top grill, and that's method number one. Method number two, after you cook, okay? Let's say early in the morning I come out and I'm doing eggs and French toast or uh, uh, pancakes for the girls. There's no way I'd ever want to preheat my flat top grill to 450, 475, or something like that. That's extremely too hot for those ingredients. That would not be the time to re-season your flat top grill before you cook something. Hence, after. Once you pre once you preheat your flat top grill, you've cooked all your breakfast or you've cooked whatever you wanted to on your grill. You wanna make sure that you start with that clean flat top grill, right? Clean it down, add your thin layer of oil, and go ahead and turn your flat top back on again on low and let it preheat. Once it comes to a smoke, you're in good shape. I would estimate about three to five minutes. There's no reason to turn your dial up to medium or high. No reason at all. Keep it on low, let it do its natural thing. Once that smoke, about three to five minutes, go ahead and cut all your eyes off. Make sure you turn it off at the source and you're literally in the process of re-seasoning your flat top grill. All right guys, so I hope I learned you something today. I learned you something. <laughs> Take two. Yeah. All right guys, I hope I taught you something today. You guys know that I'm not very good with my words. I don't articulate my thoughts very well. So it's been very stressful to do this video. If you guys have a question, comment, concern, just reach out. I uh, answer as fast as I can just about all the time. Um, but I just want to reiterate that reseasoning to me is probably like way up on the meter of importance. Okay. So if not everything came out clearly, just let me know and I'll try to help you guys out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button. Keep your flat top re-seasoned. Football time two weeks. Peace.